Kitty was walking in the woods and got lost. At one point, she met a magic fox. The fox said, If you can solve my riddle, I'll help you find your way home. But if you don't, you'll turn into a fox and stay here with me. Uh oh. When you have it, you want to share it. But if you share it, you don't have it. What is it? Kitty returned home that night. What did she say to the fox? It's a secret. If you share a secret, you can't keep it anymore. Stephen had a dream of becoming a successful geologist and traveling the world. That's why he took a very difficult test and answered all the questions correctly. Professor Smith said he had one final question for Stephen. If the guy answered it correctly, he'd go on an exciting mountain expedition the following week. Mount Everest was discovered in 1852, but what was the highest mountain in the world before that? The next week, Stephen was proudly walking in the mountains with his colleagues. What did he say to the professor? Stephen said it was Mount Everest. It was still the highest mountain in the world, even though it hadn't been discovered yet. Mrs. Sally baked her favorite chocolate cookies for a charity fair. She left them on the kitchen table and went to the garden. When she came back, all the cookies had been eaten. Oh. Mrs. Sally got very angry and questioned her three children. Her eldest son, David, said he hadn't eaten the cookies because he had spent all day in the garden. Her middle daughter, Shelly, wiped some crumbs off her face and said she'd just eaten a sandwich. The youngest daughter, Sarah, said she didn't eat sweets because she was on a diet. Mrs. Sally knew exactly who was lying. Have you figured it out too? It was David. Mrs. Sally was in the garden when someone ate the cookies. If she had seen David there, he wouldn't be among the suspects. Susie entered an elevator and pressed the seventh floor where she lived. Suddenly, the elevator got stuck between floors. Susie got anxious and hit the emergency button. The operator said, I'll restart the elevator, but first, you have to solve my riddle. What can you hold without touching it? He asked. One minute later, Susie was on her floor. What did she say to the operator? Breath. You can hold it without using your hands. How many months of the year have 28 days? All 12 months. Delivery guy Robert entered a jewelry store to pick up an expensive diamond necklace for his boss. Saleswoman Daphne took the necklace out of the safe and was about to pack it in a box. But suddenly, the lights went off in the entire store. When the lights turned on a couple of seconds later, the necklace was gone. The alarm went off and the store door slammed shut. But only Robert, Daphne, and one other customer called Vicky remained inside. The police came over and interrogated all of them. Robert said he hadn't seen anything. Daphne said she had felt someone push her in the dark. They must have taken the box. And Vicky claimed she had been choosing rings for her upcoming wedding in the opposite corner of the store. The detectives immediately understood who the robber was. What about you? Vicky stole the necklace. She's already wearing a wedding ring on her finger. It belongs to your friend, but you use it way more than them. What is it? That's right, it's your friend's name. Alice was walking in a field and suddenly saw a white rabbit. She took a picture of the animal. Suddenly, the rabbit said, Hey, I can show you where the treasures are hidden. Alice got very excited. But then, her friend called her, and the rabbit ran away. When Alice returned to the field the next day, she saw nine rabbits. They all kept silent. Can you help Alice find the right rabbit?
It's over there, in the right corner. Helen was a famous singer. When she was applying her makeup in the dressing room, her agent called her. He said that her song had become the main hit of the year. Helen told her assistant, Nick, hurry up, bring my best friend Lisa here. I want to celebrate. Nick came out of the dressing room and saw a crowd of fans in front of him. All of them wanted to get Helen's autograph. Nick asked, which one of you is Lisa? Each girl claimed she was Lisa. Help Nick to identify the real Lisa. The real Lisa is wearing a necklace with the left half of the heart on her neck. It matches the one Helen is wearing. It's an animal. Take away its last letter, and you'll get a water body where this creature usually catches fish. What is it? It's a seal, which transforms into the sea. Look at the picture. Which one is different? It's A. The color that should be at the top is at the bottom. Josh left his office earlier that day and decided to take a walk through the park. But suddenly, it started to rain. Unfortunately, Josh forgot his umbrella and hat at work. His clothes were soaked but not a single hair on his head got wet. How did he do that? Josh was bald. Tilda's mother has seven daughters. The names of her six daughters are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Can you guess the seventh daughter's name? That's right, it's Tilda. Mr. Robinson is a successful businessman. One morning, he had an insight. Later that day, he invited two of his best managers to his office to discuss this breakthrough. Which of these men is Mr. Robinson? It's the man on the right. His suit jacket is on the boss's chair. Look at the picture. Can you find the odd star? The star that's different is in the left corner. The middle of this star is smaller than that of the rest. Jenny worked as a cleaning lady at a museum. Once, she found a beautiful diamond ring on a sink while she was cleaning the ladies' room. Three people showed up to claim it. Tyler said he hadn't seen the ring after visiting the bathroom. He needed to get it back to propose to his girlfriend. Kelly showed Jenny a tan line on her finger and said it was her engagement ring. Leah just asked whether there was an engraving on the inside of the ring. Jenny decided that the ring belonged to Leah. Why? Kelly's tan line was on the wrong finger. Tyler wouldn't have been allowed into the ladies' room, and Leah was the only one who knew the ring had an engraving. Richard is a famous writer. On a Sunday morning, he finally finished his book and called his agent Stacy to share the good news. Stacy came to his house at 9 a.m. She found Richard unconscious on the floor. Oh, no. His laptop with the new book had disappeared. Stacy called the police. The detectives arrived immediately and questioned everyone who had been in the house. The nanny said she had driven Richard's son to school. The gardener said he'd had a day off and spent time with his family. The driver said he had taken Richard's car to a car wash. Once the detective listened to everyone's stories, they knew who was lying. How did they find out? The nanny was lying. She said she had taken Richard's sons to school. But schools are closed on Sundays. Gemma overslept and arrived at her office an hour later than usual. 
she found a beautiful bouquet of roses on her table. Gemma got very excited when she saw a postcard tucked among the flowers. She reached for it and accidentally pricked her finger on a thorn. The card said the flowers were from a secret admirer. Gemma looked attentively at her three colleagues. Serge was on the phone. Will was printing out some documents. He winked at the girl, and Peter was making coffee. He offered Gemma to join him. At that moment, Gemma understood who had sent her the bouquet. How? It was Serge. He had a fresh scratch left by a thorn on his finger. Look at the picture. How many squares do you see? A. 10 B. 5 C. 3 D. 6 You're right. There are 10 squares. You're supposed to count all the colors. It begins and ends with E, but only has one letter. What is it? The right answer is an envelope. What substance is there in each mug? 1. It's not sugar or water. 2. It's not sugar or tea. 3. It's not tea or water. The first mug contains tea, the second mug contains water, and the third mug is full of sugar. Rotate it 90 degrees and it's everything. Cut it in half and it's nothing. What is it? When you cut eight in half, it turns into two zeros. If you place it on the side, 8 turns into the infinity symbol. The more it dries, the wetter it gets. What is it? It's a towel. Tim loved his girlfriend Christy very much, so he went to a tattoo artist to get her name tattooed on his arm. But the artist turned out to be a crazy scientist. He used Tim's DNA to create two evil clones. When Christy came to the tattoo parlor to pick Tim up, she saw three identical guys. Help Christy determine which Tim is the real one. The guy on the left is the real Tim. He's the only one who has a tattoo. The clones aren't supposed to have any, 